tonight. Chopper Barrios says he'll one unassisted here to get things going in the bottom of the first. Barrios against Adley Rutschman. And another play for Barrios. Come on, Jose, let other guys get involved too. Barrios has gotten the first two. Here's Santander hitting left side. And this one is popped up on the infield. Kirk's going to get called off by Chapman, who had the easier play. And that is a very nice start here in the bottom of the first. Jays and O's. Ryan O'Hearn, a left handed batter, leads off the second, hits a ground ball out to Whit Merrifield. One down here in the bottom of the second. And now he's going to look at Austin Hayes. There's a fly ball to right. Back is Springer. He jumps and he's got it. Dealing with the fence and the sun. A good play made by George Springer. Aaron Hicks, who's off to a tremendous start with the Orioles. Broken bat, ground ball. Another play made by Barrios. Good start for both Kyle Bradish and Jose Barrios. Bo Bichette. And there's a base hit into right field for Bichette. The first hit for either team here tonight. And he threw it again and gets a swing and a miss. First strikeout of the night for Barrios. Runners going. Pitch taken. Throw down. And Bichette with the tag, and they got it. And a bit of a delayed call by Brock Ballou out at second. But Bichette apparently got the tag down on Hayes as he was sliding by him on his way to second. George Springer takes a pitch low, 1 0. George Springer, high and deep to left field, and it is gone. Well, they moved the fence back and they raised it, and George still hit it out. He hit that one a ton to left field. But he left this one up and right in the middle of the plate, and George was all over it. Orioles need to get a run. They don't have a hit. And he got him. What a beautiful pitch. A two seam fastball right on the inside corner. One and two the count. And he got him. Blew it by him at 96. Back to back strikeouts. Two down. Runner goes. And the 3 2. He got him. A breaking ball that was right near or at the knees. Gunner Henderson incensed with the call. But it's strikeout number four on the night. First time tonight the Orioles have had a runner in scoring position. This one in the air to right. Springer has it in his sights and will make the catch. And the Orioles do not score. Danny Coulomb, the left hander, comes in to face Kevin Kiermeyer. Chopper to the Bermuda Triangle in the infield on the right side. The second baseman, Frazier, picks it up, but not before Kevin Kiermeyer blows through the bag at first. That's an infield single for Kiermeyer. There goes Kiermeyer. The throw down is high, and it's a stolen base. Kiermeyer now six for six on the season. A step off by Coulomb. Luis Rivera is hollering Bach, and it is a ball. Now the umpires. One after the other all started pointing to third base and here comes Kiermaier to third. And now this is a run the Blue Jays have to get home. Runner at third. Nobody out. You got a good contact hitter in Merrifield. The 2-2. In the air. This is going to do it and then some. Driven to deep center field and it'll skip up over the fence for a ground rule double to bring in Kiermaier and make it two to nothing. Good piece of situational hitting right man right spot having Whit Merrifield at the plate. There goes the runner throw down to third is not in time for Merrifield. It's his 18th steal of the season and Joe eight of them have been steals of third. Now Bichette first pitch swinging drills one to deep left center. It's off the wall on a bounce spring rounding third on his way home and will score. A long RBI double by Bo Bichette makes it a three to nothing game. Three two and it's grounded to short. Bichette has it. Throw to first is in time. Mesa gets a huge out here in the eighth inning. Got him. A fastball here and Romano strikes Frazier out. And the Blue Jays pick up a much much needed win. Their first of the season over the Orioles as they beat Baltimore three to one.